today we're talking to St Albans City manager Ian Allenson after the Saints have drawn 1-1 away to Whitehawk in the third round qualifying of the FA Trophy. Took a lead, 11 minutes from time Ian, you must have thought we were home and dry then. Um, it's, yeah, probably it's difficult to say home and dry because one nil lead really isn't enough and you're always susceptible to a half chance or or something similar to what happened. Obviously we didn't clear our lines properly, we didn't gain possession of the ball and to be fair to the lad, he's picked a great cross out inside the box and uh, they've got two waiting on the back post just to see it home. So, always difficult. We needed a second goal probably to go and see the game out. Um, but overall, I was very pleased with the performance today. Chances we had, we could have sewn that game up a lot earlier, but it was spells when Whitehawk put us under pressure with a succession of corners. Yeah, and you're always going to become susceptible to that if you don't finish teams off. I mean, in the first half, we had three or four really good opportunities. We had two one-on-ones in the first 15, 20 minutes. Both times their keepers made saves. Uh, we've had a couple... I think cleared off the line in the second half, we've hit the crossbar on one of the corners. So again, if you don't finish teams off, you're always going to be susceptible to, to them getting a goal from, from nothing. And that's where it really came. I felt we'd look quite comfortable. We'd, we'd look comfortable going 1-0 up in, in, in the last 10-15 sort of minutes. And then, as you say, we gave a goal away and uh, could have quite easily given a second away because we literally over-attacked in that final sort of two minutes when we should be seeing the game out. A couple of weeks ago, Ian, every time we went over the halfway line, we looked like we were going to score. I don't know if it's that sharpness, but something just doesn't look quite the same at the moment, does it? Um, you've got to say, you know, you've got to give a bit of credit to Whitehawk as well. In fact, as you said, their goalkeeper's made a couple of good saves. We've hit the post, or hit the, hit the post and the crossbar, I think it was. They've cleared two off the line. So it's very easy to say that we, we're not there. We've worked extremely hard on our finishing this week, and just sometimes you've just got to say that they've defended quite well. Um, and we've just got to keep persevering in what we're doing. And again, the chances will keep coming. I, I would certainly worry if we weren't creating chances, um, but we're creating chances. So we've got to believe in the forwards that we've got. We'll finish it off. Um, we just got to keep doing what we're doing, playing with the same uh, pace we're going going forward, and just obviously things will click into place again. And that's just football. At the end of the day, some days they're going for you, some days they won't. A great strike by Louis Fiafanas put us one nil up. Last week, Sam Merson came off the bench. Within about 30 seconds of coming off, he'd equalised. This time, you sent him on. He ran across the other side of the pitch, took a throw in, and that led to a goal. It's not not a bad substitute, right? No, it's great. I mean, as I say, at the end of the day, with Sam coming on, I think it's, you know it's nine goals. I think he's got in ten games. We've said that already. But also, we've got other good players in there. In you know, Matty Ball's come on only for 30, 40 seconds today, but you know he's going to have an opportunity over the next few weeks with the games coming thick and fast. You know, Dippo's come on and uh, he looks big, strong, powerful, and we've also got young Oren Swales there as well which can go and change a game for us so we've got great options on the bench we've got good options going forward and uh, obviously I just d- disappointed with the goal because I felt we'd, we'd, we'd seen out what they were throwing at us I felt defensively we looked quite good today yeah they put us under, under some pressure from a succession of corners but I felt two centre halves dealt with that um, but yeah, I'd come here to take a draw before and, and knowing that Margate and Farrakha, or East Farrakha have drawn today I'd rather have a game on Tuesday night than, than concentrate on training It's funny Louis getting that goal, great strike. It had actually been one of his quieter days. Yeah, I still think he got into a three good opportunities and it's just as you said before, some days things will go for you, some days they don't go for you and uh, he's taken his goal great today I mean, he's flicked it over the lad's head and rifled it in on the volley with his left foot and uh, good finish. Um, and we had a little half a chance again after that just to go and put the game to bed, we didn't take it. As I said earlier, you've got to give them a bit of credit because they kept fighting, fighting, fighting and they, you know, they picked the, the cross the lad's put in for the goal was uh, outstanding because he's picked it up right in the box. Stuck it up back post and I was just a bit disappointed. As I said, I felt there two players there. We never had anyone coming in. As you say, we could have been away to Margate in a league on Tuesday. A lot of people think it would be a good time to play them. They seem to be in a bit of disarray at the moment. More players going, more players coming in this week. But it wasn't to be. Well, they're bringing a lot of new players in. So when you bring a new player in, there's going to be a reaction. And uh, obviously, you know, we played East Hark last week and I know how difficult game that was. So they've obviously got a result today. So the players they've brought in obviously haven't done poorly because they've got a good result there. They've got to go to East Hark on Tuesday night. But at the end of the day, no, I think we've said it before, no matter what game you play in this league, it's always going to be tough. And uh, whether it be Margate on Tuesday or Whitehawk on Tuesday, you know, we've just got to take each game as it comes. We, you know, we've got to pick ourselves up again now. We're just a little bit tired in there, but pick ourselves up, get ourselves freshened up and go again on Tuesday night. Any changes for Tuesday or is it too early to say? It's too early to say at the end of the day. We've just got one or two little niggles there, but hopefully they'll all clear up, nothing serious. Um, but, you know, we'll go again on Tuesday night. You know, we've got home advantage. But, again, we know what Whitehawk are like. It's going to be a tough, tough game. They're going to create chances the same as what we've done. And, uh, you know, we've got to, if we're going to finish the game off, we've got to go and take our chances. If we don't, we're going to be susceptible to a goal like we was in the last minute today.
They've Whitehall been to the park twice during the time you've been at the park here and they conceded nine goals. <clears throat> that means nothing Tuesday? Not at all. I think every game we play now, and certainly I know Richard Hill, um, he's not going to allow any of his sides to come to, to, to Clarence Park on Tuesday and lay down and die. As I've said before, you know we, we, we've earned a lot of respect from teams in the league by the number of goals we've scored. Teams are not going to come down and lie down and let us just keep scoring goals for fun. They're going to fight for us like they've done today. Um, and it was a difficult place to come. Difficult to come and get a result. We've managed to get that. We've got to pick ourselves up again now. And we'll be in the draw on Monday, which is the most important thing. And uh, we know we've got Tuesday night, but we know it's going to be a tough, tough game on Tuesday. Whitehawk's a strange place to come to, isn't it? Third time we've come here. It's the first time we haven't lost here. But fair supporters, got about 10 or 12 drummers out there. It makes for a fantastic atmosphere. Yeah, and as we said before, the pitch was excellent today. The pitch has played really well. And, but the noise they make behind that goal, especially the second half in the bottom end, um, it, it makes a big difference to them. And it gives them an opportunity. And you see when they scored the goal, it made a hell of a noise. And it made it for a little bit interesting in the last four minutes. Um, but again, as we keep saying it, you know, we come here today. We've, we've, we've done everything what we expected. That we, we didn't want to come away and lose the game. I'm disappointed we've, we've not been able to see the game out at 1-0 um, because other weeks we've been able to do that um, but you know we have to learn from that I said give them a bit of credit Whitehawk they've they've taken the chance they've got um, but for me we should have been out of sight before they got their opportunity Lovely thanks so much Ian just a reminder then the replays at Clarence Park is coming Tuesday the 29th of November so Orm City versus Whitehawk, Whitehawk FA Trophy third round qualifying replay kick off at Clarence Park 745